Now that we've filtered our oil, we're now going to make a batch of biodiesel and we want to show you what you do. We now have filtered oil. I have oil in a 55 gallon drum and I'm going to put oil in this machine. Inside this machine it has marks that tell me the different sizes and so I will transport this oil in using this big behemoth. Hook it on. And then we can start the flow by turning the power on. I've already preloaded this machine full of oil, but basically this sump pump would suck the oil up and it puts it in this machine. Once the oil is in here, then we're ready to start a batch and we'll get started with what's next. Remember, it takes methanol and lye. And we use a secret ingredient. We use sulfuric acid, and I'll tell you what that's for in a minute. After we've loaded our oil into this machine, it's now time to load the chemicals and everything else needed to get it going. Our next step is to put methanol into these ports up here. So I'm going to climb up here, and what we have is one port for methanol, one port for our methoxide, which is going to be our combination of our sodium or potassium hydroxide. We're going to use potassium hydroxide in this case, and some methanol. I have handy gauges on the side here that let me know when I get the amount of methanol I needed into the machine. So I'm just going to step down here for a moment, put my methanol in the barrel, and I'm going to chug away with a pump. I'm going to get methanol into our machine here. What you see now is a gauge that's coming up you're able to see that we can fill this full of methanol. This tank is going to be used for our what's called a sterification process, which is where we use sulfuric acid. We'll talk a little bit more about that in a minute. But for now, it's time to get the methanol on the machine. The next step we're going to do is we're going to measure out some chemicals. It's really important that you wear something to protect your face, your hands, because what we're about to do is really nasty. Using a scale, we're going to weigh out enough catalyst to make our biodiesel with. I've teared my scale, and what that means is I've set it to zero so I know how much I'm putting in. I'm going to bring this up to 1,500 grams, and I'm going to do it again. So my goal is to put 4,800 grams of catalyst in that machine. So with that, we're going to take it over and we're going to put it in. The next step is to put the catalyst into the machine. This is a very careful process of making sure all of the stuff in the pitcher just gets in the machine. It generates a lot of dust. It's kind of gross. It's basically annoying, but it's a necessary evil. We're going to do this a couple more times and we'll be ready to start a batch. Okay, so we've got now a certain amount of catalyst in here, and we're now going to introduce methanol. A chemical reaction is going to occur. I'm going to pop that off. It's important 
that after you've put your catalyst in, that you seal your catalyst back up. So we're going to go over and seal our catalyst before we get started on the next set. One of the things we do after we're done with our catalyst is we seal everything so that we don't get the catalyst, we don't let it get moist. So I've sealed my catalyst bucket back up. I'm going to put a towel over top of my scale to keep it nice and dry. I put this inside here, keep it dry, and I cover everything. So I don't want moisture getting on there. Our next step is to put more methanol in the machine. We'll get the batch started.